We continue to see some very interesting findings with our use of the ASV device. As you may know, to qualify for ASV, you do need to meet the criteria of complex sleep apnea in which the patient shows an increasing amount of central apneas when exposed to the pressures from positive airway pressure machines, such as CPAP or bilevel, BPAP as it's now called. And all the patients we're working with do meet that criteria, but it's so interesting how you can see this progression. In the field of sleep medicine, there's a conventional wisdom that seems to think that when you have central apneas from not being able to tolerate your first exposures to positive airway pressure, that those central apneas should go away. In other words, if you use CPAP for three months or six months or something of that sort, the central apneas will go away. Or if you use BPAP, the central apneas will go away. We're not seeing that. We're seeing a fair number of complex patients, almost all of whom suffer from anxiety, and sometimes worse anxiety, such as post-traumatic stress disorder or panic attacks. These individuals never seem to have the central apneas go away. They do not seem to dissipate or subside. And so we're beginning to see certain patients where they're not getting a good response to CPAP or BPAP or auto CPAP or auto BPAP. And now we're switching them over to ASV and they're giving us exceptionally high marks with this device. They're telling us that the ASV device is giving them the best sleep they've ever had. It's something more comfortable to them than any of the other devices that they have used before. And when we look at them on the retitration studies, they're clearly doing much better. So we really think that there's a lot of opportunity here for ASV to be used with a number of complex types of patients, which might include insomnia patients with more significant anxiety, who are much more susceptible to developing these central apneas. We'll have more to say about ASV over the coming months.